Hi everyone, here's Delphine from Eco Summit. We are at The Crystal, a green building in London owned by Siemens. Today and for the next two days, we are going to interview a lot of entrepreneurs and venture capitalists of the cleantech sector. Are you ready? Let's go. René, um, could you tell me who you are and what you do? Yeah. Well, my name is René Savelsberg. Uh, I'm the Managing Director and CEO of Chrysalix Set, which is a venture capital firm based in Amsterdam. And we invest in uh, sustainable energy technologies all through Europe. We make software for high performance building design. And that means that we work with architects to help them make the very best design decisions they can throughout the design process. Effectively, our software analyzes their designs and so as they go through a project, helps them figure out what implications a, a given design decision has for the performance of their building so they can make the best decision and therefore get the best building performance. So my name is Lauritz Bach Sorensen and I'm the uh, CEO of Microshade. Microshade has fundamentally invented um, a membrane which fundamentally is a lot of holes. If you see it, it's virtually um, it looks like a little thin piece of metal. What you do, you integrate this into glazing and in a minute we'll just put it very close to the camera and you will see you'll have limited impact on the visual, uh, on the visual uh, perception of what you see on the outside. Our company invented the first vertical takeoff and landing aircraft. It's like a helicopter, but it's uh, all electric and it's a complete new technique. So we are pioneers in aviation. This is an EcoSummit London 2013. Welcome to EcoSummit. Um, as you know, EcoSummit is uh, the smart green business network. There is a big trend. The internet and clean tech are coming together. Smart, of course, means information communication technology. I think every startup going on stage is doing some type of software. And some of them are also doing hardware. But I think nowadays, if you want to be a clean tech startup, you really have to be smart and and develop good software too. And then, of course, uh, going green is a smart idea. And in Berlin, we had the topic um, Lean Startup. I think it fits well to Smart Green, the idea of the Lean Startup, where we do resource-efficient startup development, resource-efficient, customer-oriented, very quick uh, product development, not losing too much time and money. The theme of the conference is a smart green city. You can see a picture here. It is a, the new airport in Berlin, which is not yet open, because uh, we, the current airport, Tegel, is still operating. Yeah? And here you see an, um, a rendering developed by the uh, architect Meinhard von Gerkan, who is actually the architect of Airport Tegel. And he developed the idea of creating an, a smart green city. Um, for their use after this uh, airport Tegel is going to be switched off. And I had the uh, pleasure to um, be a consultant during that project and I think it was 2010, 2011. And at that time I came up with this combination of words Smart Green City. And I actually believe a model city is a very good urban transformation tool. And my personal dream is I want to live in a Smart Green building in a smart green model city with uh, 5,000 friends. Yeah, it's not enough to have only one building, but um, it should be a lot of buildings. And I think if you create uh, something like the crystal, where you start with a building, and then it can be um, the center and the inspiration for other buildings around it, and the new buildings uh, then create a city quarter, and of course, um, it, it becomes a model city. And here are just a couple of ideas to, to move from a, from a building to a smart green city. I think uh, what is interesting in the crystal is to find out how they did it and what technology they are using. So making this uh, 
a transparent technology showcase and a marketing opportunity for all these suppliers that are um, actually participating in this building. And then in the quarter, of course, why not um, say we only give a construction permit to a smart green building. If anybody wants to build something which is not smart and green, lead platinum or whatever the certification standard will be, we, we, we just don't allow it. Yeah, I think it should be the default yeah, that you only give construction permits to projects uh, that are smart and green. And um, the most important moment of my opening speech is um, the big thank you to all our sponsors. You can see 17 companies here. Um, Cleantech Scandinavia, big uh, round of applause for Cleantech Scandinavia and the other sponsors. Let's do it. <laughs> and if you combine these companies with the companies who supported EcoSummit Berlin, we already have 32 partners. Yeah, and I think it's a, it's a really nice number. It also is good for our revenue curve, but um, it shows uh, that, that we really created a brand that is supported by many important people. And it's not only the big companies, but also some VCs and some startups who believe um, that EcoSummit is a good marketing platform. <clears throat> and I'm very happy to be able to announce already today EcoSummit Berlin in June. You can save the date on the 3rd and 4th of June. This is our favorite location in Berlin called the Radial System. The event in Berlin will again be <coughs> um, supported in terms of marketing by the EcoSummit Award. And we can already announce today the next conference in London in the beginning of October. So we will come back. Last but not least, EcoSummit Market is a small online platform that we developed. We use it also for the EcoSummit Award. If you are a startup company and you want to get nominated for the award, you have to go to EcoSummit Market, create a profile there. You can update the profile. Even if you don't participate in the award, you can just use EcoSummit Market as a marketing tool. Because we believe there are four success factors for every startup. You need to have the best people you can get. You need to find many customers as quickly as possible. You need to have really enough funding to, to reach your goals and you need to have a great product. And I think EcoSummit Market can be a tool to um, not only find investors, but to, um, to get exposure and, and um, find uh, partners to do business with. Thank you very much for coming to London and for being part of uh, EcoSummit. Thank you. Is it the first time you come at EcoSummit and uh, how do you like it? Well, it's not the first time. Actually, we are a long-term uh, supporter of Eco Summit already. Uh, we've been uh, to Berlin uh, a number of times, and we're very happy now to also be a, a sponsor for the for this event here in uh, in London. Eco Summit is terrific. It's really one of the go-to venues for clean tech in Europe. It's always great to see here the mix of startups, service providers, and investors. And today also we had several designers join us. It's a great mix of skills and of people from across the sustainable and smart economy that come together here and really make a, a change, a difference. When I started on this new position, we were a uh, scouting uh, team only, and uh, I met Jan, it was the first conference that I came to, to scout what was going on in clean tech, and this was one of the conferences that made me realize that we had to become investors because the solutions in the market were wonderful. So. I got bought into the Eco Summit since the first day and I've been coming every year since then. Thanks a lot, Susanna. Have a nice day. Thank you.